G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and just a little bit of an update for you guys. Haven't really been doing much on the coupe. Uh, basically, after getting it back on the suspension, fitting up the panels, uh, I, realizing that I totally hadn't made the deadline um, to get to the engineers and have the beam test done, I sort of thought, I'll wait for the next opportunity and in the meantime, I'll just tidy up some of those loose ends. So I was looking over it, you know, and there were some dents in the guards that I hadn't addressed. Um, same with the bonnet. I'd actually um, hadn't really done much with the bonnet because I'd actually widened the bonnet. Um, I'd widened, yeah, widened it on one hand, but I'd also shortened the length by 200 mil. So um, there were still, you know, some fabrication marks from that. So to look, actually come over here and we'll have a look. So I've got a couple of coats. Of, I actually ran out of paint, so I'm probably going to want to do at least another coat of epoxy on it. But it's looking pretty good. Um, just gave it a couple of skim coats of uh, filler um, up the sides and over the back where, it did, where I did all the fabrication. And that's looking fairly good now. And I also um, had a bit of a go at this driver's side guard. Um, after having a closer look at it, yeah, it sort of had a few dents that needed fixing. So that's all come together. And um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, it hasn't really been a great deal happening. But we do have something kind of cool, and that is the Chevy. I know the Chevy's been sitting there looking good and orange and all that sort of stuff, but really not really progressing because I've been putting all my effort into the car. But something that's been happening behind the scenes is I had the engine over at uh, West End Performance here in, uh, in Campbelltown and um, got a call from Sam the other day saying, your engine's ready, it's on the dyno, let's go and have a look. So that's what we're going to jump into next. Hope you enjoy it. All right, the day's finally coming. We're here with Sam at West End Performance. How are you going, Sam? Good, thank you, Tom. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good, mate. I'm stoked that we've got this 427 big block on your dyno, and we're about to see something interesting, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, we'll make some noise. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Noise yeah, is good. Run it through its paces. As long as it's the right sort of noise. Yeah, it'll be the right sort of noise. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Alright, well we might just fire it up and then we'll, okay. we'll, we'll yeah. leave the door open so you can get some yeah, yeah. Get some noise. Yeah, sweet. Original fuel pump, or is that a new one? Oh, sorry, water pump, is that a new one? Oh, did, you, did you supply that? I did, but I didn't know if it was any good or not. Yeah, I think we did. So, what happens on, on the engine diner, we have a remote oh, Baby's yeah. Craig at the back, so yeah. that's why that pumps. Yeah, it's not it no, I So, get I'm just it. using it as a manifold. Yeah. So, the dyno, the amount of different engines we dyno day to day, mm. it just it works for us. A remote water pump, 
Uh, we have a remote starter system, so I don't need a starter motor, I don't need to have oh, okay. all the motor yep. and pulleys yep. on. This will come off, a throw away will go on, that will come off. A yeah. and, and quite often we don't get all the parts back from the customer, so yep. we don't have them, we can still run the engine. Yeah. On some engines I also have just water manifolds that bolt to the front and I can just hook a hose. Yeah. Leads, I just throw my leads on rather than try and melt your stuff. I always dyno with my own stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a ready to run. In this one. Yeah. Uh, the, I think the manifold is a wind. Yeah, I, I, th I know the brand is wind, yeah, but yeah. wind. It's an, air, like an air gap. It's an air gap, dual plane air gap. Yeah, it's very snappy, sidling. Yeah, it's responsive, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm much happier with the this style of VFI. I mean, the, the sniper system. I think we talked about it. In the yeah, beginning. you were saying a little it was bit a bit hit and miss. Yeah, yeah. A little bit hit and miss. It's a shame, although it's very, you know, it's, it's very well priced as an entry yeah. level system. Have a look over here, just quickly. Yeah. So basically, this is the table that we look at after each run. Okay. And we're looking at engine RPM. This is the torque. Engine torque. Oh yeah. This yeah. is the horsepower. Yep. This is our oil pressure, top to bottom. Um, what else have I got here? Our lambda. Oh, torque peak is 492 at 3750 rpm. Yes, and peak horsepower was 517 at you could say 6000 rpm. All right, 517 at 6000 rpm. That's great. And that was on that's that's on fairly much stock heads. Is that right? Well, that's a little bit of a tickle. Oh, a little bit of a seat job and oh, okay. You know, just oh, normal stuff. Seat job. Yeah, 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 normal, normal yeah. stuff. Yeah. But as far as ports and stuff, we go. didn't port it. Yeah, no, just, so just give the ports. just throating a bit of a bit of a tickle on the throats. And yeah. We've got a two inch, uh, like a HQ style pacemaker four into one pipe. Yes. Um, so it's not lacking anything in exhaust or intake. Really, it's got a good manifold. So it's a breathing good throttle body. Breathing nice well. Nice camshaft. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. So we're gonna. We're going to do we're a do pull? A, yeah, we're going to do a couple of pulls, Thanks Sam, that's awesome. So I can't wait to get this car built and see how she runs. Yeah, but we'll bring, like I said, we'll bring it back to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll... Um, um, when, once it's assembled, we'll yeah. bring it back to you and you can tweak it. I think we'll put it on the hub and we'll just do yep. a lot of that low speed and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruising stuff, uh, which you can't 
it's difficult to do here. It's difficult to simulate the, the load in the car. Okay. You know, for the wide open stuff, you can't beat an engine dyno. Yeah. But, um, yeah. You know, the drivability stuff, you can do a lot with road speed. Oh, and, I see. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. I can simulate inclinations and uphill, yeah, downhill right. driving, all that sort of stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, good stuff. All right. Well, it's not even Christmas. Not even Christmas. Yet. <laughs> thank you. All right, cool. Well, well thanks, thanks for Sam. coming down. I appreciate that. No, thank you, mate. It's thank always you. It's hard to uh, find the time to schedule everybody in to Amazing. be here all day. Yeah, Amazing. I know. I think when uh, when it comes to dinos, everybody wants to be here, but you know, some some engines might take me two days to get to the point where we're doing this, this yeah. ten minutes worth of uh, yeah. having a look. No, that's all good, mate. All right. Well, we'll. Uh, We'll wrap it up here guys and um, next time you see this engine she'll be back at the workshop and hopefully it won't be too long before we start installing it in the chassis so hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll catch you next time